This bike does not sound like a potato. I know someone's bike that sounds like broccoli. I got a package to go drop off at FedEx. And, uh, yeah, so I'm returning, I like trading in, maybe a better wording, um, my old MacBook Air. Getting some money for it through Apple and, uh, basically financing new Mac Mini and this is actually going to be the first video I shoot and edit on the new Mac Mini um, to try it out supposedly the um, rendering is pretty bad um, not great performance because it doesn't have uh, discrete like separate um, video card chip and when you go to do things like um, put in text and like titles and color corrections is where it gets ugly but supposedly the rest of it like um, cutting and splicing stuff together and then um, doing those like basic kind of timeline edits are supposed to work really well um, and not be, notice the deficiencies in the kind of design of the Mac Mini's processing capabilities. But then it's also, but, but at the same time, it's also supposed to be great in terms of rendering performance. So I'm really interested to see what it's going to look like. Um, and also because, like, I don't really do a lot of additional like video color edits um so you kind of curious to see what will happen what the how its performance will look like um and if it would necessitate oh I can crap crap full of cut firewood I guess if it would need um or if I would want to spend the money on like say an external GPU which I don't yeah, and it just snowed um, really like last week. So, there's a couple places of snow. Why is it not like super salty or gravelly either? You so I get a ride. What is going on here? I'm so used to that clutch on the trial so it's smooth. Why am I riding the Harley today? It's been called a light heater. This big old block of an engine is very warm. And there's I think like 45 um, out today. I saw a wind chill chart, which is kind of funny. But basically, um, for all realistic speeds, you get cool, colder as you go um, faster for the ambient air temperature. Except when the ambient air temperature is like 95 and you're doing 95 or like 100. So in those circumstances, you're actually going getting hotter. Uh, you're not getting any cooling in terms of um, the cooling effect that you would feel in like quote unquote wind chill. So I thought that was really funny. Um, I'll try and find the pig later. Where am I going? Did I go past it? Yeah, I did go past it. Gosh darn it, I'm an idiot. I already went by. Wow. Oh, I just gotta go best buy and get a gift card. <laughs> oh, and I can get that hard drive too. I need one more. Uh, NAS hard drive. Then I will have all NAS hard drives in my NAS. As much sense as that makes. Um, yeah, so it doesn't make sense off the top of your head why you would want a NAS hard drive unless you own a NAS. 
Um, and the reason that I'm getting an SR drive rather one more is because what happens is if you take a normal hard drive, um, it doesn't do what's called like at a high level error correction or error checking. So as you're writing data onto your hard drive in a NAS, um, you're writing typically in a RAID configuration. So what that means is if you're not using a NAS drive, um, well, the, well, you're trying to do the writes to the drives, um, what happens is basically it gets hung in a loop. Um, if you have a bad drive or bad, like, portion of your drive it gets hung on the loop the data and then what happens is eventually it takes forever to write you know let's say if I'm writing a one gigabit file across and 200 gig or and 200 megabytes of that goes on this one bad drive so what's it could theoretically write you know 199 megabytes of the file and in that one megabyte of the file could end up in a bad portion of the drive. And this one megabyte portion will kill your drive. Um, and it kills your drive in the sense that it drops the drive from your RAID and you basically lose a disk. And then your RAID will say, no, I am not going to allow you to use this disk anymore. And it's time to go get a new drive. It's kind of annoying. Um, so, use NAS drives. Simple insurance. And it does this error correction. And if this kind of bad data issue happens, it just skips it and writes it somewhere else. Easy peasy.